So let me start by recapping some of the operations that we can perform on local repositories. I'm just going to list them here and go through them by separating them into three main categories. The first one is commands uh, to create a repository. And notice that not all of these are Git commands. That, For example, to create a repository, we would normally want to create a directory, which is exactly what we did in our demo. We want to go to that directory and then execute the git init statement, which initializes that directory as a git repository. The second category includes commands that they will use to modify the content of the repository. We saw that we can use git add to add a specific file or a complete directory to our index. So to the list of files that will be committed, that will be considered in the next commit. Then we can use commit to actually commit the changes that we made to those files to our local repository. And we can also use git move and git rm or git remove to move files around and to remove files. Finally, the third category is the category of commands that we can use to inspect the content of the repository. And this set includes git log that we can use to see the log of the repository, git status that can give us important information about the status of the files in the repository, git diff that we can use to see the differences between, for example, our local files and the remote files, and finally, git show that will show us information about our last commit, what we committed, what were the changes, and so on. And again, we saw most or all of these commands in our demo. So let me also remind you of a possible workflow, which again, we already saw, but it's always good to go through it once more. And remember that this is just an example. It's just a possible workflow. You can do many different things. You can have many different workflows with Git. This is just uh, to illustrate some of the things that you can do. So you might do some local editing, execute git status to see what files you changed. Then you might run git diff on the files to see what are these changes. And then you can run git commit minus a to commit your changes. And in case you want to specify the commit message right away without having to go through an editor, you can also add the minus m parameter and specify the message here on the same line. 